the stubborn baby elephant. In a land far away, there lived a family of elephants in a forest. The youngest member of this family was a very stubborn and naughty baby elephant. One day, when his parents were going for a walk, they yelled after him. Darling, where are you? Come on, we're going for a walk. Where are you, son? Come on. In a short while, the baby elephant came next to them. He felt no need to go for a walk with them. I don't want to come with you. It's boring. Your siblings are so excited to come. Why are you like this? Well, they can go. We always do the same things, and being an elephant is so boring. Mama and Papa Elephant were very surprised by the last words of their baby, but did not want to show it. Hmm, all righty then. As you wish. Don't move from here, we'll be back before dark. Sure, as always. His family left the little stubborn elephant alone and went away. The baby elephant played on his own for a while. But soon after, he began to get bored. The more bored he was, the more mad he had become. I don't want to be an elephant anymore. It's bad to be an elephant. I wonder what I should be. Right that moment, he noticed a jumping and hopping gazelle. And so he made up his mind. Yeah, yeah, I should be a gazelle, fast and agile. The baby elephant tried to copy the gazelle and jumped around. But his big and lumpy feet got tangled and he fell down. Head first. And of course, it hurt a little. It's not fun being a gazelle. The baby elephant began to go further into the forest. He came amongst the tree where the monkeys were playing. They were jumping from one branch to another, having so much fun together. So he thought to himself, the monkeys have so much fun. I should be a monkey. So he yelled out to the monkeys. Hey monkeys, look at me, I'm also a monkey. Play with me too. The monkey stopped for a little while and looked at the baby elephant. And then they all went down from the tree and surrounded him. One jumped on him, one pulled his ear, one hung on his trunk, and the last one threw a coconut on his head. Baby elephant was stunned and he couldn't run away jumping to a branch like the monkeys. They really hurt him. He could not play with the monkeys. Finally, he got rid of them with his trunk and ran away as fast as he could. The baby elephant began to move further into the forest. This time round, he saw a squirrel on a tree. The squirrel plucked a chestnut from the branch and went back into his burrow. What a cute animal! Because he's small, he can get in and out of everywhere. Yes, I should be a squirrel. The baby elephant tried to climb up the tree and of course failed. So he poked his trunk into the burrow. The poor little squirrel was so frightened that it jumped out as fast as it could. The baby elephant tried to put his head into the burrow this time, but his head got stuck. It was very hard for him to take it out. I'm just not fit to be a squirrel. The trees are too small. The baby elephant was now too far from home. A little further, he came across a beautiful parrot. The parrot was flying from one tree to another. The baby elephant enjoyed watching this. He came closer. I want to be a parrot too. Can you teach me to fly? Of course I can! Together, they went to a high cliff next to a lake. Now watch me and see how I fly. The parrot opened his wings and jumped. He was gliding in the sky. 
The baby elephant copied him and went down the cliff. As the parrot flew with his wings, the baby elephant fell down from thin air and landed in the lake. Thankfully, he managed to get out and make it to the shore. He was covered in mud and his whole body was in pain. The parrot flew next to him. You should stay being an elephant, my friend. Right at that moment, a baby bird sitting on the cliff fell out of its nest and disappeared in the lake. In a panic, Mother Bird flew next to her baby where it had disappeared. She was flying above the water and yelling. Help! Somebody help! Save my baby! Help! Baby Elephant went in the water that instant, put his trunk in and began to search for the baby bird. After a few seconds went past, he took his trunk out and the baby bird was right there on the tip of his trunk. She's alive! She's alive! The baby elephant carefully put the baby bird down by the lake. Mother bird flew and came next to them. Thank God you were here! If it weren't for you, she would have drowned! Hearing these words, the elephant was very happy. He felt worthy. If I weren't an elephant, I couldn't save this baby bird, he thought. I think I'm meant to stay as an elephant. It was almost night time. The elephant was very far from home now. He was super impatient about this. On his way back, he saw the parrot flying in the sky, the squirrel taking his head out of the burrow, the monkey swinging from one branch to another, and the very fast gazelle that ran past him. But he thought of nothing other than how much he had missed his family and how much he made them upset with his silly stubbornness. All he wanted to do now was to apologize. Once upon a time there was a baby elephant named Dimbo who lived with his parents and was very bored of his life in the forest. He wanted to go far and explore new places. He would go around the whole forest and meet new people. But his friend, the little mouse, kept telling him that the world was very big and that there were too many other places still to be seen. So Dimbo made up his mind. He was going to go on a long journey and explore new destinations. One day, he went over to his parents to tell them all about it. I'm bored of being in the same forest. I want to go and explore new places. My baby, this is our home. And plus, we don't know what's out there for us. Out of the forest? Humans can be very dangerous. Timbo listened to his parents, but did not really take notice of what was being said. He still wanted to see the world out of the forest. The same night, after everyone fell asleep, he left home and began to walk towards the end of the forest. It was now too dark. He could hardly find his way. Right at that moment, he realized that something was coming towards him. Suddenly, before he could move further, he found himself in a big net. He tried to get away, but there was no hope. After a while, he heard some noises. People yelling, cheering. We got him! Yay! Yay! We got him! Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, yeah! Yay! Don't Stop hold him. his back! Come on, hey, come on! Sir. Before he could even understand what was happening, Jimbo moved up from the ground and into a dark box. The lid of the box shut down on him and the box suddenly began to move. Scared little Dimbo did not know what to do. Suddenly he heard a voice. So they caught you too, huh? When he looked at the direction of the sound, he realized it was one of the monkeys from the forest. Who got me? Humans! But why did they catch me? I didn't do anything to them. I didn't do anything either, but they're planning to do something to us. The monkey was right. The people who caught Dimbo and the monkey were working for a circus in the town. 
they were taking the animals that they had caught to the circus to use them in the shows. In the morning, when she could not see her baby, the mummy elephant got worried. She asked her children if they had seen Dimbo or not, but they had also not seen him since last night. In a hurry, Mummy Elephant went next to Daddy Elephant. Dimbo is not here, he's gone! So he did what he said. We have to find him before something happens to him. His family found Dimbo's friend, the mouse, and told him all that had happened. The mouse was really sad. It's all because of me. I told him that there's also life outside the forest. Don't worry, we will find him. Days had passed. Dimbo was held in an area surrounded by barbed wire next to the circus tent. His friend the monkey was kept in a cage. The people of the circus were preparing for the shows that were going to begin one week later. Dimbo was watching these people circus tents and the trucks in astonishment because it was the first time he was seeing things such as these. What is this thing called circus? And why are they keeping me here? While Dimbo was thinking about this, two men came and took him out of the barbed wire fence. When brought to this circus, Dimbo was horrified by the view he saw. A while later, the owner of the circus, who was also an animal trainer, came next to Dimbo with a whip in his hand. You will do the tricks exactly as I will show you. Best part of the show will be yours alone, or else you will not like your punishment. Dimbo was very frightened. He tried to do the tricks the circus owner was teaching him. At the same time, his friend the mouse was looking for Dimbo all over the forest. He asked about him to all the animals he saw, but no one knew a thing. A small pink bird saw the hopeless mouse wandering around and flew next to him to ask what his problem was. I am looking for my friend Dimbo. Dimbo? You mean the stubborn baby elephant Dimbo? Yes. I think he left the forest and went to the city. As my mother told me, when I was a little baby, Dimbo saved my life. If he's in trouble now, I would like to help. You can fly to the city to look for Dimbo. If he's there, I'm sure you're going to find him. Sure. Don't you worry. I will find him. The little pink bird went up immediately and began to fly towards the city. After flying for a couple of hours, she noticed the big colourful circus tents and some trucks in the distance. She flew over to them. And what did she see? some people putting Dimbo back into the fenced area. She immediately flew next to Dimbo. Hello, Dimbo. I'm so happy that I found you. Your family and your friends are so worried. Some people have imprisoned me here. They will put me in the show next week. Really? You don't worry, we will get you out of here. I will now go and let your family know about the situation. The bird flew up into the sky and made her way to the forest. Dimbo was very happy because he knew he was going to be saved. The little bird went next to Dimbo's family and told them all about it. Mummy and Daddy Elephant were very happy. We'll leave early in the morning. We will take our baby back from the humans. Early in the morning, Dimbo's family, the mouse and the bird began their journey to the city. The elephants and the mouse were not as fast as the bird. There was a long journey waiting for them. Back at the circus, Dimbo and the other animals were preparing for the big show. 
While the wild monkey was being funny with the clowns, Timbo was trying to do the tricks the circus owner had taught him. Come on now, you have to jump higher. The circus owner was asking him to do things that an elephant could not do. So Dimbo remembered what had happened to him when he tried to do the things that the other animals had done. I hope Mommy and Daddy can come quickly to save me from here. Exactly one day had passed by and it was now the show day. Lights of the circus were shining and a lot of people were coming into the tent. Dimbo's family, the mouse and the little pink bird came next to the circus tent. In the area that was fenced with barbed wire, they saw Dimbo. There he is! Yes, but how will we save him from there? I will go talk to Dimbo. I am coming too. The mouse and the bird went over to Dimbo. The mouse went under the fence and went next to Dimbo. Psst! Dimbo, look here! Hey, buddy! Meanwhile, the little pink bird got a closer look at the iron door. The door is locked. It will be hard to find the keys. When it's my turn, they will open the door. Then we can run away. Okay, we will make a plan. Wait for us. In the meantime, the show continued at the circus. The monkey and the clown were trying to be funny so that the guests could laugh. After they finished their show and left the stage, the circus owner went on the stage. Dear guests, next we will have our magician on stage. The circus owner left the stage and continued to the back. He asked his men to bring the elephant. His men went outside and opened the door to the fence where Dimbo was kept. Right at that moment, there was a loud noise and when they looked where it was coming from, they saw four elephants charging towards them. The men left everything and ran away. And when they left, Dimbo could easily escape and was very happy to see his family. Come on, we need to get away fast. No! Upon Dimbo's answer, they were all shocked. First we have to save my other imprisoned friends. Let's distract them so that the mouse and the bird can open their cages. The four elephants began to run around the circus. Daddy Elephant went into the tent. Everybody began to run around in fear. At the same time, the bird was opening the locks of the cages. The mouse was opening the gates so that all the animals could get out. They all ran away into the forest. The circus owner was shocked and did not understand what was going on. He was furious. While he was running around, the whole tent came down on him. Dimbo, his family and his friends stopped to take a break when they were in a safe area away from the circus. They were all tired but very happy. At that present moment, the monkey came next to them. Dimbo, I thank you on behalf of all the animals you saved from the circus. Instead of running away while you had the chance, you chose to save us too. My friends, I'm sure you would do the same for me. Living in the forest taught me friendship and to help one another. Yes, we always should care for one another, otherwise life can be very, very hard on us. Well, Dimbo, when is your next trip? Next time you'll decide to leave the forest, do let us know about it. Daddy, Mommy, my sister, my brother, I'm really sorry that I got you worried. I made a mess. Don't worry, I won't ever leave this beautiful forest again. So they all continued their journey back to the forest. Without ever complaining again, Jimbo lived a happy life in the forest.